So, I mentioned the name Jose Angel Roman. And some of you will have already heard this, some of you won't have heard of it. But this is a name that was in connection or was said to be in connection with the Summer Wells disappearance um, some time back. But it was never kind of really, how can I say, put to bed either way, whether it was or wasn't. It's now starting to resurface again because they have proven that Jose has had connections with different places all over the states and not just in Utah where his kind of proclivities towards children were aroused. This is a convicted child offender. Now it's been said that there is potentially a connection between Candace Bly, Don Wells and this guy. There are arguments that he could have well been in the property for some period of time. Again, this isn't something that has 100% been confirmed, but it's certainly a possibility. Now, it's said that it's possible that this Jose had spent some time at the property and he is friends with the, um, the Ali and Hunter dynamic. And this is actually a situation that caused the fallout between Candace and Ali after Candace had stated that Jose only liked chicks with dick, saying that he was gay. It was much speculated that this statement of him being gay was made to stop Don becoming jealous or angry towards the situation because he was there. And again, this has kind of not been confirmed, but... When you look at some of the other things surrounding this, now, if this is right, and these this dynamic, especially Ali and, and Hunter, and their connection, apparently this Jose was friends with Andrew. Now, do we 100% trust Ali? Do we 100% trust Hunter? I know there are some people that do 100%, and they kind of couldn't see there being any issues here especially with hunter he is at the end of the day a younger child and you know could he have had anything to do with it but when you look at the bigger picture and you look at all of the people that this family have got potential connections to it's just come out that this jose has got connections all over the states he's supposed to be in the philippines but is he in the philippines there's a lot of stories surrounding this that could potentially lead you to believe that he has had direct connections to summer but again unsubstantiated so this is speculation but when you consider the facts and that is that a girl has gone missing and i still for the life of me cannot see how this was simply a a, a chance encounter where someone's gone into the house and they've abducted someone from the home i, I can't see it happening i don't know uh, I, th I can't see how it would even be possible. I genuinely can't. But, 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 in the past, Don has obviously had a very, very shady past. He has, he is a career criminal. And it was said that he had tried, not, f not successfully, but tried to sell his own children from his previous relationship. And that he also had proclivities towards a younger person. But, again, this is all kind of speculation. Well, some of it's speculation. At the end of the day, he is a career criminal. And, he, um, and we know from what we read that this seemingly situation where you can sell your children seems to be rife. You know, it's not the first time we've heard that come up. You know, we've got cases already. Christy Seipel, for argument's sake, you know, she was selling her child. There's a lot of things surrounding this case, a lot of things surrounding this family, that albeit being speculation, if there's any truth to it, you do have to wonder what has gone on here. You know, I still stand by the fact I think there was more that happened at the water and hole, you know, where they went swimming that day. But I am, I am concerned that the more you delve into the backing of these people and what they've had connections to and what they've been involved with that there could be something more here and again all of this is just kind of 
speculation and nothing has been you know fully pinned down to being correct um, there's lots of things that say that the Jose that they were talking about is a completely different person but then there's just as much statements that confirm that it was indeed that person and with the criminal background you don't know do you you just don't you don't a hundred percent know what has gone on and what is right and what isn't right but I do know that in my heart of hearts I do not believe that this girl was just kidnapped and it went down the way that they're saying and with the people who are involved and the things that we know and the things that we are learning there's more to this than meets the eye there is more to this than meets the eye you know there's the the Candace Bly um, has just signed basically a piece of paper that states that if you go there you've got to keep your mouth shut you know a non-disclosure agreement you know why would you do that you know why why would you do that if you've got nothing to hide if there's no criminality if there's nothing that you're concerned about getting out why on earth would you make this move there is no reason for it whatsoever yes things can get twisted but if you are true to yourself then there is nothing to worry about and to me this family has got something to worry about they are hiding something all of them are hiding something and i truly hope that it comes out i truly truly do